U.S. taking action against Russia, placing new sanctions on the country and expelling diplomats. This is all about alleged election interference. But it's not all. President Biden signing an executive order declaring the Russian threat, quote, a national emergency. Come in, former acting intelligence, national intelligence director, Rick Grinnell. What will these sanctions actually do, Rick? Look, this is a political uh, circus right now when it comes to trying to pretend like there's a crisis with, Rus with Russia. Russia's a problem, there's no question about it, but it's the Beijing line. It's exactly what the Chinese want us to do is to pretend to look over there and pretend like the crisis is with Russia. Let me, let me be very clear, Stuart. If we really thought that Russia was a crisis, why wouldn't we be telling Germany to stop the Nord Stream 2 pipeline and sanctioning every part of it and being perfectly clear about shutting it down? We're not. We're actually rewarding Germany. We just decided to stop pulling the troops, uh, 10,000 troops out of Germany, and we're increasing the troops by 500. Let's also be very clear. There are 50,000 U.S. troops in Germany. Now there's going to be 50,500 when you count the rotational troops. And we are rewarding the Germans for buying Russian, oil, Russian gas at explosive levels paying for Russia, while not paying their NATO obligations, and yet we're supposed to believe, because Joe Biden issued an executive order, that Russia is the crisis? Well, if Russia is the crisis, do something about the Germans who are funding the crisis. We have the video of Secretary of State Blinken. He made this surprise visit to Afghanistan, no doubt selling President Biden's plan to withdraw troops from that country by September the 11th. Do you think troops should be completely withdrawn by that date certain, Rick? Uh, I do. I, and, and let me start and finish by also saying that this is the right decision for the Biden administration to make. Uh, but also we have a whole bunch of questions to ask now because the bankrupt corporate media in Washington, D.C. is unwilling to ask the tough questions. Let's be clear. President Trump tried to do this and the military uh, advisors and intelligence advisors said absolutely not. The media jumped on board and said absolutely not. Uh, now what we see is Joe Biden making this decision and there's a, a crowd of applause from the corporate media. There's not the same questions which were put to President Trump. And this is the problem that most people have with Washington, is they just completely flip-flop on their morals, depending on who's in the White House, and they're not helping the debate. If we can have an honest debate about pulling troops from Afghanistan, uh, we, you would see Democrats split, Republicans split. This is not a partisan issue, but the media pretend like it is, and they celebrate the Joe Biden decision. This is not good yeah. for us, and everybody outside of Washington it's, sees this it, game that they play. It's same old, same old, same old story. You see things which a lot of people don't, and you see clearly. We love that, Rick. Thanks for joining us. Come again soon.